Poos. It's your sister Ari here for another Heart to Home devotional. I hope that you're doing very well today and are just enjoying walking with our God. Why don't we pray before we begin? Oh, Heavenly Father, I just thank you, Lord, that you are sovereign. I just pray that your Holy Spirit would guide these next few minutes, uh, that you would encourage, instruct, correct, comfort us, and bless us, Lord. We pray that you would be glorified in Jesus' holy and mighty name. Amen. Well, sometimes we get caught in a fog of struggling, struggling to see purpose. Maybe purpose in tragedy or in trial. Uh, sometimes this leads us to anxious or depressed thinking. You know, uh, maybe thoughts of why am I here? What's the point? Um, you know, the purpose. Well, Christ came that we might have life and life more abundantly. And this doesn't mean, you know, present life of health or of wealth, but it does mean a full life, full of knowing um, uh, the heavenly purpose and of knowing our God of sovereignty. Um, and, you know, with the questions of why am I here or making, you know, purposeful decisions, we can tend to over or under spiritualize things. And I feel like that's every one of my devos is looking at uh, two extremes and then looking at, okay, where does God live? What does he desire for us? Um, and by faith, we can clearly see how things don't happen by chance or by accident. We know that we serve a God who works all things together uh, for his will, you know, and, um, and he, we also have, you know, the practical and the spiritual side of, of things. So God gives us wisdom in order to make practical decisions. Sometimes he gives us just a bit more silence in order that we would depend on him more, seek seek him um, more deeply, um, but also just to, to make practical decisions with the wisdom that he gives us. You know, he's given us his Holy Spirit that illuminates his word and he gives us his word um, full of wisdom to make uh, decisions in alignment with his character. Um, and we so we have the practical and we have the spiritual. We can tend to over-spiritualize things and, and seek signs and not seek, you know, um, things in alignment with wisdom. So um, there's there must be a balance to that. And uh, with, with things not being an accident, you know, with God's purpose, God's sovereignty, God's leading. I always think of the lives of Ruth and, and of Joseph, and I think, you know, just that, that verse in chapter 2, uh, verse 3 of Ruth, of the book of Ruth, and it says, she happened to come to the portion of the field belonging to Boaz. And that's just so powerful for me, you know? It's like with all of the tragedy, all of the events leading up to her and Naomi, uh, being where they are, she happened to come to the portion of the field belonging to Boaz. We know that she didn't just happen to, that God orchestrated it all um, by his beautiful hand. And I also think, of course, of the life of, I mean, the Bible is full of examples, you know, the, it's it's all led by the Lord. But the, the events in the life of Joseph were one unfortunate event after the other was woven together in such a redemptive pattern, you know, just showing our God of purpose. And so, you know, it was purposed and not random. And we know that our lives are not just, you know, random molecules produ producing a chemical reaction. We read in Ephesians chapter 1 verse 11, In him we were also chosen, having been predestined according to the plan who works to the plan of him who works out everything in conformity with the purpose of his will. So in him we were chosen. We were predestined according to his plan. We were purposed. Um, and so we were purposed in him and God also allows what he purposes to redeem. So we can we can view it as a privilege to persevere through what God allows in our lives. When we surrender our lives to Christ 
and the Holy Spirit indwells us, nor our outlook on life and desires changed, we're sanctified. And we're sanctified day by day as well. But there are, you know, there are some that experience valleys where they have trouble with this, you know, and we're weak. Praise God that we have a strong God who doesn't condemn us when we have these thoughts, but he walks with us. He gently restores our souls and he desires that we would trust in him even through these these seasons where it's, there seems to be a lack of vision. And accepting our purpose, you know, beyond what we see or what we feel um, or experience is a, is a surrendering, it's a submission to a holy and sovereign God, a God of all meaning and of all worth. So again, we were purposed in him uh, and God allows what he purposes to redeem and fixing our eyes on things above uh, helps us to see and understand and live with purpose. So the point is God's glory. That that's, that's the point of it all. So I hope that this encourages you and uh, why don't we just pray as we close and just uh, praise our God. So Father, I thank you that, uh, Lord, that you work out everything for your, your goodwill, for your purpose. We thank you that you, um, you planned for us, Lord. You desired that we should be yours. We pray that you would give us this vision more and more, Lord. And we pray that you uh, would be more and more glorified in our lives. Thank you, Father, for loving us. I pray this in, uh, in the holy and good name of Jesus. Amen. Well, church family, I love you and I will see you soon. A bientôt.